He's going to have to get into that 154 second lap time range, though, if he's going to catch catch the leaders. And meanwhile, still got a good battle going here. Prado has got his hands full. Things are happening pretty quick for him. Yeah, this Thomas... uh, makes it really hard to control your breathing and to keep calm out there, keep any arm pump down. Makes a little mistake. Kirill's is going to take advantage of that instantly. Yeah, big muscular Dane, Thomas Kierolson just uses that strength and asserts his authority on the young Spaniard who's just finished school for the summer, has just completed his exam, so juggling the two, school and, and, uh, and racing, and uh, getting education just there from uh, number 19, Thomas Kier Olsen. But uh, he now moves into fifth place. Uh, a little bit further down, we've got Julian Lieber just behind these guys. Uh, so Prado sixth, Lieber seventh, Watson on the Hitachi Contract Furniture Group KTM. He's in eighth, another good start for the young Brit. Rodriguez, what a great ride he's having in ninth. He said on our studio show on MXGP TV uh, yesterday, which you can catch on our MXGP Facebook page. And uh, he was saying that, uh, you know, he knows it with a good start. He can, uh, he can make it happen. That's exactly what he's doing now. Right, here's Prado and T Thomas Kier Olsen. Yeah, so the lap before it was Prado that gets sideways this time. It was Kier Olsen that gets sideways on some of those rocks and those marbles up there. You get hard on the throttle and 